Hello, the year is 2021 and the QuickBooks mobile app has had a lick of paint. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at that lick of paint, have a look and see if the QuickBooks app is still any good. Stay tuned. My name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a brand new logo, and also that QuickBooks chap on the internet. Now, one of the questions we get asked quite a lot is how good is the mobile app? And especially now when it's becoming more and more popular for businesses to just use that mobile app, it becomes a big question and a big question mark on is QuickBooks going to be good for that particular business? Well, you've come to the right place. We're gonna have a look at the QuickBooks app now. We're gonna have a look at it and see exactly what it's capable of. Let's have a look. Okay, so welcome along. Here is the QuickBooks app, and for more eagle-eyed one of you, you'll notice there's been a bit of a lick of pain. It's functionality-wise, pretty similar to what it was before, just a bit of a different layout. And actually, we quite like this new layout because what's happened here is we've broken this down into stuff that makes it even more user-friendly. So, for example, you'll see here that we still have that wonderful dashboard view experience. It was a great way of understanding how things are going, what expenses we've incurred, any unpaid invoices, that sort of thing that's going through. And also at the top there, we have now quick action items. And that's going to be a way in which you can make sure that you're quickly adding something to QuickBooks. For example, what if you had a bill or a receipt that you want to get into QuickBooks itself? Well, it can't be any simpler than this. This is how we get receipts into QuickBooks in 2021. What we do is we grab our mobile phone. We grab our receipt. We stick our receipt down on a nice flat surface. We press snap receipt. We line it up. And as quick as that, we've captured the receipt. How does it work? Well, first of all, on this page here, you now have the opportunity to go through and crop it if I need to. So if I want to crop this around, it's no problem whatsoever. I can crop to my heart's content. All I do then, once I'm happy with it, I can then rotate it if I need to or retake the photo. But when I'm happy, I just press the button, use this photo. Then all QuickBooks is going to do is upload that receipt. You don't have to put any numbers in whatsoever. What's going to happen then is QuickBooks is going to read that information and it's actually going to bring it in for you. So here's an example of one I did earlier. It's figured out that it's £9.73 of VAT. You can see it just there, look, 9 and a 73. So not even a great receipt, this, £58.40. It's already found that bit out for you and it's already extracted that information. Let's do another one. Let's take a photo of this bill. Okay, so I've got a copy of the bill. I'm just going to press use this photo. And once I press use this photo, it's going to do exactly the same thing. It's going to upload it. And it's going to wait to process. But just like the other one we've got here, it's going to extract the numbers, the VAT for me, the date and Virgin Media Business. And it's going to then um, say what it's going to go for. So as simple as that of getting transaction into QuickBooks. But what else can you do here? Well, one of the brilliant features I find is this estimate button just here. With an estimate, I can choose what customer I'm working for. So maybe Adwin Co in this case. I can tell Adwin how long he's got to accept my estimate before it expires. And then all I need to do is go and add um, transactions for him. So maybe I'm trying to sell in these um, headphones and he wants 15 pairs of them. Maybe he also wants some of these um, Mickey Mouse silicone cake molds and we'll do a job lot for him 120 pound and we can keep adding these transactions as we go through and maybe we're going to end up with 20 25 widgets and the idea is that well as i'm with my customer i can change these as i go along maybe he's actually decided he doesn't want 25 widgets he wants 32 well we just update it like that the VAT has been worked out for me. The amount's been worked out for me. Everything's been done for me on this estimate. And all I need to do is press the save button in the top right hand corner. That's going to generate me an estimate. I can then send it to them directly from my phone if I want to. Or I can press this get signature button, pass it to the customer 
and the customer can type it in. So Adwin's accepted it and I even get to convert it directly from the report here. I can then use this phone to make sure that I'm happy with that estimate and, and that invoice and save the invoice and then press send invoice just here. From here, I can make sure and send the invoice directly from there. And it's as simple as that. I also get a nice little thing. I can see when the person's viewed it, when they've paid it, when they've deposited it and when they've sent it. So that's great. Also on here, I've got the opportunity to say when an invoice has been paid. So maybe they've actually paid me already for Adwin Co's invoice. So I can tick the invoice is already paid for, put it to wherever I need to go, maybe on deposit funds, maybe I'm going to put it somewhere else and I can say how it was paid as well. Maybe they use Stripe to pay it. So I can mark them as paid. I can put a new expense in if I need to. So if I don't want to take the photo and make it really easy on myself, I can just type it all in from here and put an expense in. I also get a nice little activity of what's happening so I can see what's happening. Remember that it's not just while you're on here, you can have someone back at home or back at the office actually working with QuickBooks as well. Then they can be doing things at the same time. From my hamburger button, I've got the chance to jump in transactions. And it sees that I've got two transactions to complete. So first one is this payment. I want it to go to purchases. I can then also look to match it if I need to and just press accept. And then I've got here QuickBooks 599, that's an absolute bargain. So obviously they've gone and got themselves a subscription from Boffix themselves using that link below. From there though, I was able to get this bargain of a subscription and I can just accept it from there. So I can complete all my banking transactions directly from here. What I can also do is see we've got a problem with this PayPal account here. Well, if you've got any problems with your bank accounts, you can get the reauthorization just from here. So I can go through and reauthorize it from this mobile phone app. I can even see my cash flow. What I really like about cash flow is it's going to tell me what's going to happen in the next couple of days. It's going to tell me if there's any adjustments I should expect and moving it forward. I can even look and see what my projection is going to be. And I can have it look in this six months period. I can look forward and I can see how it's going to go. I even have the opportunity here to add new transactions and see how that's going to affect it. So if I've got a loan repayment and it's going to be £1,000 and I know that we've got until the 15th of April, how's that going to affect my account? And you can see there, I get that dip. So by the looks of it, I'm going to be okay in terms of cash flow. But I love the cash flow planner. I think it's a great way of being able to make sure that we get everything in our business all up to date. And that gives us encouragement that everything's going to be okay. From here as well, I can look at customers. Maybe back to Adwin, I want to get his GPS position to where is where our meeting's going to be. I can use that. Um, based on his uh, address that we've got in here. I can use it to call the client. So it's all based on the information we have in the customer area. Furthermore, if I press all, I get all of these other options, which include looking at my profit and loss. So I can see how my business is doing. I've got my balance sheet, so I can keep an eye on some numbers. Um, and I've got all of these different options in here. And the best of all, it all interacts with your browser straight away. And the final bit is mileage. So I can actually set this to automatically be looking at my particular area and where I'm going. And all I need to do now is I need to swipe business or personal. So you swipe to say what that transaction is. It actually records this automatically for you. All I do is I stick this and keep this in my pocket. And as soon as I go from A to B, it's going to see that there's a potential uh, opportunity to claim some business mileage potential £3.64 here, for example, and I'm either going to go business or I'm going to go personal and I'm going to claim that accordingly. How's that affected QuickBooks itself? Well, in QuickBooks itself, first and foremost, if I go to the little question mark up here, you can see those transactions have all come through real time. So there's my invoice for Adwin. So here's my invoice for Adwin Co. I can see that it's also got an estimate included for him as well. We have an attachment of his signature. 
and I've also got the opportunity here. I can see the payment I made and those two expenses that I dealt with in the bank account for me. There's that QuickBooks license. As you can see, as you can see, really powerful way for us to be able to go and get information. Or you can be working on your mobile phone while someone back at the office is doing bits for you. So for example, I could create an estimate while I'm out and about and let someone back at the office actually send it out, try and collect the payment, that sort of thing. Also under banking and receipts, there's the new receipt capture area and you can see they've already processed those transactions come through. Now it's a duplicate this one, but you can see what it's done. If I click into it, look at the Yosushi, it's read for me £58.40, £9.73, what, first of the third, 21. It's found the description Yosushi, it's going to put it to purchases, but that's for me to make sure it's correct. So I can change that and it's gonna learn that going forward. And then all I need to do is press save and next. It's going to draft me up for an expense and I can create an expense from there. Now, if the transaction was already in QuickBooks, it would then give you an opportunity to match it against a transaction. Meaning that if you found a receipt you've already processed on the bank account, this would be a quick and easy way of getting that receipt on there. Right, you physically having to find the bank account and then add it there. Overall, you can see that the app itself is actually work, working really, really well. Some really key updates there that makes it, I think, even more beneficial to use than it was this time last year. Let me know below, how are you finding the app? Are you having much use out of it? Personally, we think the app is absolutely brilliant and can't wait to get a bit more use out of it going forward. We also know that some big updates coming to it soon. So as soon as those updates happen, we'll be making sure you know about them so make sure you like subscribe all that jazz so you don't miss out on some of the updates that's coming that could affect your business and today that's what this channel is all about giving you information that's going to help you and your business so don't forget to like subscribe so you stay up to date with everything that's going on my name has been Aaron Patrick as always it's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you and I'll see you in the next video bye for now Told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts When it starts I told him I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want If you want I can be a fighter I can be a fighter Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's real and new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description. But it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.